Thanks for tuning in to Fire Fay Fab. Stay tuned if you want to see how I made this wicked cute coffee cup and tea cup holding combo trash can type apparatus for the kitchen over here by your office area anywhere basically you can kind of think of guys okay so let's stay tuned for this diy all with dollar tree stuff all right let's do it all right guys you can see here i'm getting all my materials i got my dollar tree trash can i actually got that cake pan from save a lot for 99 cents but you can find those at dollar tree as well i have the s hook that i found in the floral department from dollar tree as well as my little glue gun you can see there um i also have used zip ties with this and then e6000 glue to secure the base into place on the cake pan all right so Let's see how we get her done. Just going ahead and placing the trash can on the cake pan to kind of measure where I want it to go. So I'm just figuring it out. Now, the video I'm going to link down below, or it's linked down below, shows the idea where I got this from. And that person actually clipped off the bottom of the trash can itself and decided to kind of form the cup into a different shape as you can see that's what i did in the teacup um but i didn't record that video but i did use the same process and i did get that basket from dollar tree as well so here i am i've already getting it set up here trying to see where i want my s hook i'm going to use the zip ties to keep the s hook in place while i glue it okay see it was kind of confusing myself there thinking i was gonna you know made a mess look at me making a mess everybody else make a mess when they do their crafts too it's just like everything just goes kaploo bam mess everywhere all right so what i'm doing here is i'm just using my glue stick here or excuse me my glue gun to just hold the trash can in place so then i can secure it with the e6000 glue after i have the trash can placed where i want it on my cake pan okay so yeah let's see how we do Now you can see me putting the S hook on there with those zip ties. Now those zip ties I did actually get from Walmart. They were still under $2. I did wind up grabbing clear because I did want something that was easily covered with paint. Um, I used the Rust-Oleum Rose Gold paint you saw in the beginning. I would recommend actually maybe Krylon. I have found to be a little bit better spray paint. Rust-Oleum seems to be giving me some issues, okay? But as you can see, I am securing the handle in place with my zip ties, that way making it more secure so I can actually use the handle if I wanted to pick it up, dump the trash out, whatever comes to mind what you're going to use this cute little coffee cup basket for. Another tip I am going to recommend is, you see how the S-hook is kind of already bent into shape when I started to put it on the basket? That's because the metal was a little thick and a little difficult to manipulate, so I did have to ask my boyfriend for help. So, yay to all the crafted men out there that helped their girls out. Woo woo, kudos to y'all. And what you can see as I'm doing now is using my E6000 glue the crafting glue of the gods. Yes, everybody who anybody who does crafts knows the E6000 is law. 
when it comes to crafts. If you want your craft to last, you can use this on glass, metal, plastic, wood. After this has settled for over 24 hours, you are not getting this apart, okay? So that's why I'm taking the time and using the E6000 glue to securely keep the trash can in place on my cake pan base. That way I will have this for years to come because I do have a couple of crazy kitties running around the house that love to get into mischief, of course. So as you can see, just making sure everything is securely in place, it is covered with glue. Um, the other recommendation that I would make that you're probably not going to see because the end of the video cut off is once you're done gluing this, make sure you put something on it to weigh it down to make sure the metal is contacting with the glue and the bottom of the trash can so you get that secure hold. And as you can see, voila, there is our teacup trash can. Just finish it off with painting and labels, and bam, you have a DIY coffee cup. <laughs>